Hello and welcome to Making Joyful Noise, brought to you by beautiful St. Paul Lutheran Church in downtown Sarasota, Florida. My name is John Ferreira. I am the Director of Music Ministries and the organist at the church. This coming Sunday, May 21st, is Ascension Sunday. We have some really special music for you this uh, this particular Sunday. Our special music during the service is going to be one of our very own soloists, Brian McCauley, who will be doing a solo for us, and he's going to ask the congregation for some help in singing the refrain. The words are on the screen. He'll help you with that. No problem at all. The thing I want to talk about is the final hymn or the sending hymn and the postlude. The sending hymn is called Crown Him with Many Crowns. Most of us know that one, but the story behind it was kind of interesting. Also, it was written by two, the text was written by two different people, and it actually has 12 verses. We are not going to be doing all 12 verses this Sunday. We'd be here until Memorial Day if we did. But, but we're going to be singing verses 1, 4, and 5, which perfectly relate to Ascension Sunday. One of the verses that, you know, that I want to talk about especially is one that just brings back so many good memories for me. It's verse, it's verse number five when we do it. You'll see on Sunday, as I said, we're singing verses one, four, and five. Verse, verse five is, Crown him the Lord of years, the potentate of time. That word always got me. I, had, I don't think I've used that word all week. I don't think I used that word all week. Nah. I probably haven't used it in about 10 years, if that. But anyway, it's a cool word. The hymn tune is called Diadamia, which is um, in, in reference to the head of state or a crown. The, uh, the word potentate means leader or head of state or crown again. So it's kind of definitely important you know, to this particular verse. It talks about all kinds of things. We talk about um, crown, uh, crown him with many crowns, the lamb upon his throne. Then he's the God incarnate born. Behold, then we're going to look at his hands and his side. We're not going to be singing that verse either. But verse 4 and 5 are the ones we're going to concentrate on especially verse 4, which talks about how he triumphed over the grave. The, the postlude is going to be called Agincourt or Agincourt Hymn by John Dunstill. And it's going to use only the trumpet on the organ and a foundation stop. It begins with loud trumpets and then they descend as you almost visually can see the music ascending it just ascends and gets real quiet. Never leaves us, but is very quiet. So be, be sure to listen to Agincourt Hymn by John Dunstable. Thank you for listening. This is again St. Paul Lutheran Church in Sarasota, Florida. Tune in on Facebook and on YouTube. Thanks for listening.